right, guys, before we continue with today's video, I just wanted to sit down and talk really quick about Opposition Games. They are my newest sponsors. They have all of the top meta cards on their shop. You guys can check them out. And if you guys want to buy anything that is Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon or Magic, of course, you guys can get 5% off using Savage 5 my affiliate code. So make sure you guys check them out. The link will be down in the description. Hey, yo, what is up, guys? Your boy Ed from Leeds of Each already, and I got my boy Jordan here. And Jordan's got a new deck for us. <laughs> Jordan, what do you got, man? I got this Ritual Beast deck right here, man. This deck's fun. Hard to play. I was still getting used to it, but I think it's a very strong deck right now. Cool. All right, let's get into the video. All right. So this is one of the new cards. We have three Lara. Uh, she can do three things. Uh, you can discard her for cost, get an additional normal. Uh, she gives you protection for your Ritual Beast cards if they were to be destroyed by battle or card effect. Oh. You can banish her instead from the field or grave. And then if she gets banished, you can special a monster from the deck. So she's like pretty That's strong. That's pretty good. Yeah, she makes the deck work. Uh, this is one of your other uh, yeah, best starters. You got three Elder. Um, he gives you an additional normal summon. You can't Impermanent or Veiler. Uh, you have to stop it by having a sol uh, Solemn Judgment or Skill Drain already on the field. So he's pretty good. Then you have uh, Extender, Special Summon from Graveyard. Uh, you got to play one of each. Uh, this is Special Summon from Banish. Uh, this card is cool. Um, I went uh, nine, I had nine wins, one draw so far with the deck. Uh, still undefeated. This came up a couple of times. Uh, you can crash her. Uh, what happens when she dies by an opponent's card, you can cheat out uh, something from your extra deck. Comes up a couple of times going second. Nice. Uh, these are your one card starters, uh, three penguin, uh, Rapengu. Uh, he dumps one from the extra deck and then uh, he banished one from the extra deck, dump one from deck. Uh, he's the worst one card starter. Um, three Canahawk, which is your best one card starter. You just banish one from deck. It's gold start. Oh my gosh. Uh, then we have, uh, this isn't standard, but I play it. It's the pedal fin. Uh, one thing I noticed the first time I played it is that this deck cannot break a board with like its engine by itself. This is literally the only thing minus like a uh, dark ruler and stuff. So I think you should play it, but I know a lot of people, you, like deck building, you don't have a lot of space. Uh, Apelio, he boosts everything by 500. It's like the opposite of Scream, uh, Terra Limit Scream. Then I play the Nemesis package, what I think people should play, uh, because this gets you into your Colossus. And then I also cite Protos. It's just a FTK going uh, second. And then we play God Card Shifter, probably the best hand trap in the format. Three Ash, three Nib. Uh, this has been pretty good so far. A lot of people don't respect it game one. Then this is my tech. I played three Book of Eclipse because uh, it protects your one card combo. It just, it just protects you in general. Uh, I think it's a little bit better than cross out because you can, uh, it has applications going second. You can also book your field if you get nib and then you can still contact fuse uh, by banishing your stuff. I played two e Telly. I want to play three, but don't want to go over 41. Uh, play three Inheritance. Uh, what this does is it gives you, um, it makes your opponent Monsters lose 200 attack uh, for each different type of ritual beast you control. You can reveal one for cause, uh, search, and then discard one of a different type. And then uh, if you special summon two or uh, two or more monsters at the same time, you can switch the battle positions of one of them. So it comes up when you're trying to like OTK. Then uh, I also play the one bonds, which cheats out something from the extra deck by banishing two ritual beasts for cause. It comes up when uh, your hand sucks or like you get interrupted a lot. Uh, for the rest of the hand traps, the three imperm, which it should be standard, and then one steeds, which is a non-targeting like board wipe uh, up to the amount of different virtual beast uh, monsters you control. Uh, this guard is very good. A lot of people play two. I just don't have the space for it. And then for the extra deck, we have the Colossus for the Nemesis package. Uh, this is an Omni Negate. Sometimes he's a pain to get out, but when you do get him out, it's like pretty good. It's not once per turn, not once per chain. Two Drago, which is the new extender by banishing uh, monsters from your field or extra uh, graveyard. That's very good. And then gives you targeting protection. Everybody should know what Canahawk is from uh, all those years ago, oh. like Infinite Loot. Uh, I really only play this because it's a name to dump the red dog, uh, just if I need them in rotation. Then this is the new boss monster, which is uh, it's a floodgate, but it's not a very good one. Uh, it prevents uh, both players from tributing stuff for costs. Uh, it's a quick effect banish, and then I can uh, add a banish ritual beast card and then get an additional normal summon. It's a very strong card. Uh, then we play two of this guy. He's mainly there for uh, giving you that extra normal summon to make your plays happen. 
uh, it, the boost comes up for the 600, and then it's also a quick effect tag out for extending. It's a very good card. Then we play Appaloosa, SP, Anima. This also works uh, with e Tully because your level ones become like a board breaker depending on the game state. IP, I rarely uh, summon this, but except if I shift through my opponent and then I don't need to go through the SP. Then we have uh, Infernal Flame Banshee for the Nemesis combo. Uh, I'll show you the side deck. This is something I've been experimenting with. This is subject to change. We have three Ghost Mourn uh, two Ghost Mourner now. Uh, it's a good hand trap with uh, works with shifter. I do one draw because I'm now testing cross out for going first. Uh, the Protos, uh, it's a win condition. Three D Fissure, this card is insane. It's basically uh, another form of shifter going first and it turns off a lot of hand traps. Hurts a lot of decks, it doesn't hurt yours, so it's a good card. Uh, this deck struggles going second, like I said, like engine wise. So you play board breakers like Dark Ruler so you can play the game. Uh, then we also have three evenly match. Uh, Dark Ruler plus evenly, you just clean up the field and then you just go off. Then two cross outs, uh, just to protect their combo, mainly for Nib. I'm, I'm mainly playing this for Nib and Droll because those are like pretty annoying to deal yeah. with. But other than that, this deck is very strong. I love the deck. I've uh, been testing it on and off uh, ever since the uh, support got announced for it. I think it's very strong this format, especially uh, with the Fiendsmith coming out because it's arguably the best shifter deck in the game right now. So I think people should have this on the, on the radar. Yeah, cool. Appreciate it. Sir. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Don't forget to check out Thank Rituals. Their link will be down in the description. Also, you guys should definitely join my Facebook group. I have a lot of really cool updates and a lot of uh, really good information that you guys might want to keep up with about giveaways and whatnot on there. Uh, also, please, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I would like for you guys to turn on that bell notification as well. I would like to grow my percentage of subbed and not subbed from 20% higher. Uh, I, would, I would really appreciate that. And don't forget to like, comment, share. You already know, guys. Appreciate y'all very much, and I'll see y'all in the next video.